My own feeling is, of course, is that the preconditions have made it almost impossible to make any progress at this given moment. The conditions put up by both sides. There's one precondition that I don't really understand, and that is the, uh, what seems to be a fairly innocuous statement by Mr. Smith, which was his second precondition, to maintain uh, the standards, not to lower the standards. I can only put one interpretation on, my, on that myself, and of course I could be wrong. I'm inclined to think this must have referred to qualifications on the voters role. Uh, what else can it really refer to? Because it is so wide, it either means everything or it means nothing. Uh, you couldn't, in fact, bring the Africans into the government genuinely and give them some say without enfranchising a lot more Africans than are enfranchised today. And so at the same time you're lowering standards? Well, I, I, it would have to be because I don't believe the standards for what is known as the, the African role here, or whether it's called a B role or not, I don't, don't remember. But I don't believe the qualifications are the same for that as they are for the role for the Europeans. Have we now seen the shutting of the door on negotiations? Personally, I don't think so. I am inclined to think that both sides probably set their sights fairly high in the opening shots. Uh, as I th said earlier on, I did not expect too much. All I had hoped for was that a conference would take place. I still think this is a possibility, but I now believe that Mr. Smith, Rhodesia's Prime Minister, should aim at trying, hold, trying to hold a conference with his own African leaders in this country.